translate that momentum into this incoming set. The thing is, Ray is just like, you can't really like gimmick Ray. You know what I'm saying? He he's too aware he's so of stuff steadfast. like that. So he's gonna have. That was, that was, so that was in good. 2019, we're still down. We're still dying in on Zelda's downfield, guys. Ple yep, please, please, Stop. please don't die in. I'm Stop. begging you. We out here. I'm literally nah, begging you. Nah, do it again, Ray. It's not true. Do it's it again, not true Ray. on anybody. Do Please die out. Anyhow, <laughs> Zoots are not getting 66% just for a down throw into fail. We out um, here. And right now, uh, Zoots are not struggling to get back onto stage, but that was a fantastic parry yep. into another lightning kick. Oh my god, Zelda is nuts. She just <laughs> yeah. What is that, like frame 6, right? Frame 6, yep. I'm pretty sure Palutena's near comes out frame six or seven. It's like the same thing, but hers makes you explode across the stage. That almost killed. Great counter coming from Ray. Even though it doesn't counter the projectile, all it does is just give him an extra bit I of a like, ability. I feel like it would have killed if that was the only move he's been landing so far. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that should be like how this matchup is played. Because believe it or not, Palu, as impressive as she is, she can't hit out this shield for free. Uh, trying to go for the beefy uh, yeah. B, but Ray was definitely oh, way we too Oh, we read those rolls. What's up? What's up, Ray? You thought you was rolling? <laughs> what you doing? Oh, oh right, right, right. That, that hitbox on the up B is just massive, knocking Gray back. Dead. Ooh. Oh, okay. We're okay. not dead. What are you doing? He was a little bit Bro. too desperate to get back onto the ledge. I, think I, I like the idea because I think he thought he was going to hit him. Mm -hmm. But, bro, relax. Do it again. Oh, what's up? Yeah. He's going for something a little bit different, something a little bit more saucy there. I like this movement there. Mm -hmm. My man pulled the knight out, and he's like, I'm double jumping with Zelda. You're going to anti me? You didn't even think I was going to jump. And right now, I, what I really love is that Zygoton is getting these call-outs on Ray landing with safe aerial, but then just holding shield immediately after. So instead of going for the neutral, he'll be out of shield. Right. Instead of going for the not be, he's just turning around and grabbing him every single time. So right now, we're going to see Ray maybe get a little bit shook, maybe try to mix up his on-shield options on Zygoton. Alright, Ray started. Ray has a, like a shift of momentum right now. He's like moving a lot different. So, so let's see if something clicked. Can he douse this fire? Zero got to douse this fire. Yeah, see, Ray's been doing too much now. Yep. Ooh, yep. call out the fact that Zilatina was just a little too afraid. He was a little too afraid. Like, he wasn't completely emotionally attentive, and he just, like, mashed out that directional yep. air dodge out. So when players get like that, like how Ray, like, when you notice, like, they move different and they feel like they've got something, you it's hard, but you got to show them, like, yeah, I'm not afraid to take my yep. turn while you're doing this. So that F smash enough to take the stock. Just like, Even game. Yep. Even game. Zelda is able to just like really clean up stock so well with her commitments to like blood traps. Yep. But blood traps are menacing. You make a single mistake and you're dead at 70. Ooh, I'm surprised that the that the Jun's fire didn't connect there. And that was almost a full shield break setup. He didn't connect the two phantom hits into himself. Nice almost, almost. Ah, uh, got the Sally spot on the upbeat. It was hard to get the sweet spot with that percent. Mm -hmm. But next one. He's looking at him. He's like, do it, buddy. I want you to hit my hit shield. Hit my shield. Hit my shield. Oh, oh. He, he tried to parry. He tried to parry. He tried to parry. <gasps> yep. Don't jump. You jumped too early. And that's going to be an error, and he's going to get knocked off stage. All right. I mean, Ray, just like ready to punish that. Yeah, he's no ready one. for that up B. Stop choosing options so early. That's zero to none's biggest issue. All right. Yep. He, there you go. I, okay, that side B was really great because it was Stalled. just non-committal yep. and just forced an option from Ray. Just like forcing me up to get back on. Don't even try it. And now finally, like you see him start drifting back a little bit more. Now he's yep. not being committal, but the back air, the down throw into back air, more than enough to take out the stock. So, the, the, what it's coming down to is who's going to stay more composed. And it's very hard to knock Gray off his composure. And like you can see, once Zero Denon gets hit, he feels like he got to choose what he wants to do next ASAP. And my man yep. is just doing it, doing it, doing it. And it's like, take your time. Don't burn jumps too early. What? You gotta understand your opponent's options, cause you're you're jumping in spots where he can't even hit you yet, and then you're like you just expanded everything, and now you're gonna die when you land. Yeah. Um, but right now, going for Smashville, I feel like I'm not sure about the stage choice because I feel like Zelda can do decently well on just about every single stage. Uh, uh, it, she gets more coverage off of things like the Knight on the stage. Mm, cause the Knight can just like cover yeah, like three fourths of the whole, you know, whole thing. So it definitely makes a little bit of sense there. 
Um, just like catching the fact that he was dropping the shield a little bit too early. Maybe he's trying to parry something and get a parry punish out of it. So just catching the fact that Zayton is a little too eager to get those out of shield punishes. Zayton is just to hold the shield a little bit longer. Just take the hit on the shield. It's better than just taking the percent. Back down throw. Alright. We out of here. <laughs> Alright. I'm head out. Ooh, great. That was a great punish. But was that a down smash? That was definitely down smash. But it didn't connect into itself. It looked a little bit odd. I feel like it just like, huh? Back throw. Oh, down throw. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the back throw would have killed him. That was OD. <laughs> Why would he go for that at 139? He just, he just decided to take the stock at the no, back. He, he, he needs still to not relax. Relax. He already be, he's already moving like he wants to do too much. Relax. That's not going to confirm unless you DI in. What's wrong with you? Palo's fourth throw it's doesn't kill. It's not a mix-up. It's not Palo's a mix-up. Palo's fourth throw doesn't kill, so DI out, please. Always DI out. It's literally not even a mix-up. But regardless, right now he's just like slowly tacking on the percent. Yep. Dash attack already at 40%. Right now, <gasps> ooh, that was a great reflect of the night. Reflect. Back throw is up throw? Okay. I'm not sure why you didn't go for the back throw. My back throw might have still not killed. It doesn't scale that well, but the back is more right, than enough to take fine. out the stop. That's fine. ZTM put himself in a pretty good spot, so he just has to relax. Why down smash? Pretty, she cannot nares out the shield, I'm telling you right now. That nares is in the double digits, when you even when you land it perfectly on shield. It's not that safe. Jason is able to. Ooh, great shield. He's still able to set up the Phantom, but uh, Ray was still able to maneuver around the ledge trap despite the F smash and the presence of the Phantom. Um, and right now, Zeratina needs to find a way to get back onto his feet. He needs to get something started. And I'm surprised that Ray did not get hit by the Phantom. Up to up there. That was a good. That was a good roll call out. Ooh, he was he had the right idea, but he was just like off on a spacing a little bit, and I'm surprised that that almost killed That's the nice. opposite side of the stage, and he did, he was, was not fast enough. It, yeah. Well, rather, I feel like he put it a little too late. If he put that a little bit early, he nice might have been able to Ray. scoop him. See, down the thing is, why were you trying to? I was each other. You gotta relax. Ray's so good when it comes to like, I'm just gonna like. Pressure you with my existence. Yep. And the thing is, zero to none is like so antsy with his options that like that's probably why Ray is so consistent versus him. Yep. Ray is like a really strong test of your fundamentals and like your game sense. He's just making sure that you're not doing anything to. He's just making sure Don't you're be doing. do dumb. The spot dodge, like you see, zero to none getting really nervous, like throwing out all these defensive options. Like again, like. Yeah. Wow. That was such an amazing greed. That, that, I mean, like I said, the thing about Ray is that he's never really committing, even though he looks like he is. So he's just like, his hands aren't occupied doing something else. He's yep. not, so he's always ready to make a read like that. And it's like, uh.